call it a gut feeling. When Hans Klaver's research revealed an important communication system between cells, the wind signaling system, he decided to focus his research on the organ that renews itself fastest, our small intestine. While studying how the tissue of a healthy gut renews itself, they also found out how bowel cancer evolves. In biology, if you want to find cells, like stem cells, you have to have markers, molecular flags that identify where the cells are. So the challenge is to find those specific flags. Usually we use colors, uh, and my lab has developed a lot of techniques to uh, exploit colors under the microscope to visualize where the stem cells reside. Well, the small intestine is very special because it's the, the one tissue in our body that grows fastest of every tissue. It cell renews itself every five days, which means that there must be extremely active stem cells somewhere in the gut. So the important part of the uh, lining of the epithelium uh, is covering the so-called villi. And these are the extensions of the surface that sit in the lumen of the, of the intestine. And these contain the cells that work hard, that digest food and take up the nutrients. Now the cells are not produced on the villi, they're produced in small invaginations at the base of the villi that are called crypts. And we found that at the very bottom of those crypts there are about 15 cells that are the stem cells of the system. When we looked at the healthy tissue we realized that sometimes we saw stem cells that were behaving badly. It looked like they were forming uh, cancers. And that turned out to be the case. Colon cancer, very common tumor in man, is uh, starting in the stem cells of the intestine. And when we started looking at these stem cells, we realized that they didn't really follow the rules that people had defined for stem cells. Um, so we find that they divide every day, and many people thought that stem cells would have to be quiescent, only dividing maybe once per month. So in a mouse they divide about a thousand times, uh, defying the Hayflick limit, which says that cells can only divide 50 times. Um, we also found that they don't divide asymmetrically, which means that when a stem cell divides, it makes a new stem cell and it makes a daughter cell. And we find that that's not the case. They can do anything and when needed, they make as many stem cells as, uh, as possible. We can now grow intestinal tissue from a single stem cell in mice and in a collaboration with a Japanese lab we have been able to transplant these little bits of tissue into mice with a defective gut. This means that in principle we can do this in man. Uh, indeed there are diseases, um, hereditary diseases, where young babies are born with a gut that does not work. They are totally dependent on intravenous feeding uh, and they are on the waiting list for a gut transplantation. And we are now gearing up to uh, adapt our technology in collaboration with the Children's Hospital uh, to a situation where we can actually start thinking about treating these little kids with uh, intestinal epithelium that we grow in the lab. If this works in the intestine, this means that we can think about applications uh, like what is currently being done for bone marrow transplantation, where around the world tens of thousands of patients are being treated for bone marrow related diseases, we could promise uh, therapies for uh, diseases of the gut, of the pancreas, of the liver and maybe of many other organs.